Angela Critter, how you doing? Welcome to the live. I'm getting ready to make the cobbler. Let me get this turned around right. Hold on. There it is. Okay. I'm here for the cobbler. I brought ice cream to go on. You go, girl. You got me. You got me. I'm so glad you brought the ice cream. Let me wash my hands and we're going to start. This cobbler has to bake, so I am going to go ahead and get started with it. And let's see what it says. Let me put this up a little bit. I've been running all morning with Mr. Jimmy, and I have dirty dishes in the sink, and I don't want you to see them. Like, it's nothing but glasses, though. Okay, here is the cobbler mix. Yes, and our can of boysenberry, boysenberry uh, fruit. So, what the instruction says, yes, Miss Angela, it does. Let me see if I can get this, me and this little camera here. Okay, it says... To spray your 9x9 nine nine baking pan with a non-stick spray, pour the one 15-ounce can of boysenberry, and this is a 15 and a half can. I just got your notice this second. Wow, I'm glad you finally got it. Soften one stick of butter in a separate bowl, whisk one egg, then add the softened butter and the dry cobbler mix. Mix all the ingredients till a thick dough is achieved. Spoon small dollops of the dough on top of the nine by nine pan of boysenberry. Bake, uh, distribute evenly. Bake at 375 for 35 to 45 minutes. It's not bad. So I'm going to put this stick of butter in the microwave and let it soften a little bit more. It's been out for over an hour, but I'm gonna let it, I'm gonna put it in the microwave so it can get a little bit softer. Wow, it's showing five people in the line. I'm gonna let that soften. Now I'm gonna take this one egg like I'm supposed to. Oh, I need to spray my dish. Okay, that's done. Let me check my butter. It said soft, but I melted it. <laughs> but that'd be all right. Now for the one egg. Move this over so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. Hey, Atomic, welcome to the live. Hi, I'm the usual bathroom break. I understand. I understand. 
Okay, we're going to go ahead and put, the, I'm going to open up the boysenberry. Boysenberry, boy, I'll be boogering it up. Here they are. And we're going to pour them in the bottom. Oh, blackberry cobbler. That's what it reminds me of. Here we come. I want to taste one. Oh, yes. I made your bread pudding last night. So delicious. Oh, I love that bread pudding. And that sauce to go on top of it. I, I put it on ice cream, anything. Okay, we got our egg beat, like it said. Oh, them berries are good. Okay. Soften one stick of butter. I did that. Whisk the one egg. Now add the butter and then I'm putting the butter in. It said to soften, but I melted it. <laughs> I got it melted. I'm going to whip that together. Now we add the cobbler mix. This is my season for blessing. Yes, Lord. This is your season for blessing. Here's the cobbler mix in the little bag. I'm going to open it. Pour it in. Ooh, and I just splashed it everywhere. Y'all know I can't stand little stuff like that in the kitchen when I'm cooking. It's got to be decent and in order. Okay. And as you cook, clean as you go. We're going to mix this up together now. And then we're going to dollop it on top. Woohoo! I'll get y'all um, comments when I get through doing this, okay? And whoever come in the live, welcome, welcome to the live. So glad you're here and blessing me and blessing me. Okay. Let me get my spoon. This whisk is not doing the thing. So I'm going to switch to a spoon. Rose, when she was on, when I started on YouTube, she was on here. She was doing lives all the time. Um, it was Carly Rose and, and Carter's Eat. I haven't seen her in a long, long time. I don't think she's still on YouTube. Now we're going to dollop it and make sure I did it right now, y'all. Add the softened butter and the dry cobbler mix. Mix all the ingredients until a thick dough is achieved. Spoon. Yep, that's it. We got it. We got her, y'all. We got it. Now I'm going to dollop it on top. This is our season for blessings. Honey, y'all, God getting ready to do something wonderful. I don't know what it is, but he is getting ready to do something extraordinary. So get ready, get ready, get ready, because I feel it all over me. It's getting ready to happen. 
I don't know who this is for, but God got a blessing with your name on it. You hear me? With your name on it. What a blessing. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, my Lord. He can do anything but fail. Just look at here, y'all. This is enough for me. <laughs> oh, Lord. I don't know if, if uh, Jimmy and I'm not going to get in here then. Here she is, y'all. I'm getting ready to put her in the oven. She getting ready to go down. She going down, y'all. She going right over there to the oven. Let me put you over here so you can see where I go. There you go. This is your season for blessing. So it's 112, 35 minutes. Seven be one forty seven. Y'all remember that now. One forty seven. I need to go check on her. This is my season for blessings. I'ma turn you around now. Okay. Let's see who all's here. Because we got the cobbler in the oven. The Bozenberry cobbler is in the oven. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, yes, it is. Hey, Denise, welcome to the live. Let's go back up to the top. I'm on this crazy laptop, so it does as it pleases. Okay. I read that. Uh, Angela, I can't wait. Angela looks good, great. Angela, I just got your notice of this second. I'm glad you got it this time, Angela. Atomic is in the bathroom as usual. Angela says, I love your shirt, Beverly. Thank you, Angela. Mr. Jimmy bought it for me. Mr. Jimmy. Uh, Atomic said, I made your, I read that and it was good. I knew it was. Uh, Atomic said, what, uh, what we cooking? We are making this Bozenberry cobbler. This was in the gift pack that sister Nancy sent me. So we're making the cobbler today. Bozenberry from Knott's Farms. All right. Um, Atomic said she added extra raisin. Yeah. I normally put raisin in it, but I didn't that day. I don't know why. Uh, hit that like button. That's right, Atomic. Hit that like button. Danielle. Hi, Danielle Hardy. Hey, Miss Beverly and everyone in the chat. I'm driving, but I'm listening. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms. And happy Mother's Day to you, too. I don't know if you're a mother or not, but you don't have to birth children. If you got nieces, nephews, uh, neighbors, Kids in the church, kids you work with, you a mother. Atomic is saying, let me see, too bad this wasn't for another hour. That's when I go, oh, I'm sorry, Atomic. Atomic boss on the warpath, gonna go. Uh-oh, don't get in trouble. No, no, no. Uh, Angela said, uh, Atomic, LOL. Hey, Marlene, how you doing? I got the uh, Bosenberry cobbler in the oven. Angela said, I love Carly Rose. I did too. I don't know. She was on my mind. She was on my mind. We're putting it in the atmosphere. Maybe we'll hear from her now. Marlene says, hi, chat. Denise is here. Hi, Beverly. Gonna have to watch replay. I missed the beginning. That's all right. You missed, you just, I, I made the cobbler and it's in the oven. So it should be out. I think it's 147. I said, y'all. 
to take to go it said 35 to 45 minutes so we'll check it then um angela is speaking to marlene everybody's speaking hey rochelle how you doing welcome to the live sweetie pie marlene hey denise rochelle speaking to everybody denise what exactly? Are, they look like blackberries to me. They remind they're bigger berry than the blackberry, but it was a purple looking color. You see what that berry looks like here on this bag? When I open up that can, that's exactly what it looked like. So I know that's gonna be awesome with some ice cream on top of it. I can't wait. Hey Tracy Boo. Hey Miss Beverly. Angela, Denise, it is a hybrid ber berry. You hear what Miss Angela said? It's a hybrid berry. I didn't know that either. Thank you, Angela. Bosonberry is a cross be between the European raspberry, the European blackberry, American dewberry, and Loganberry. It is, it is large, uh, eight grams. Yep, it was large. You're right. She got it right. She, it tastes good. I like. I never had it before, but I like. I taste one of the berries. Angela says, "Wow, the bosonberry has a lot of different berries in it." See, we ain't never too old to learn something. We ain't never too old. Learn something every day. Nancy, she's here. The lady that gifted me with this beautiful gift. That I love so dearly. She gifted. Thank you, Nancy. It's in the oven now, Nancy. So we're going to wait and we're going to have some uh, cobbler. Nancy said, hi, everyone. Sorry, I'm late. I'm in the middle of making chocolate poke cake. Oh, that sounds good. Wish you could send a piece. <laughs> Angela says, hi, Nancy. Angela. Oh, Nancy. Poke cake. Have I ever made a poke cake? Uh-uh. Nancy, what's in a poke cake? I don't remember making that. Nancy says, so happy you're making the Bosonberry Cobbler. Are oh, you so sweet? Wait a minute, girl. We can ready to have devotion. I love this book. Do I have it upside down? Oh, <laughs> we get, and look, it's the same color, y'all. I love the colors. You hear me? Look at them colors. I love them. Send a piece, a uh, uh, piece to all you all. I wish we could get it. Now tell me what's in it, or either better yet, send, email me the recipe. Okay. <laughs> okay, y'all know it's it's national. Um, today is National Prayer Day. So this. This book is, is a nugget. It's full. Anything you're going through, anything you're feeling at the moment, it has the scripture in there for it, and then it has a prayer, and then it gives you a question of something to think about, to think on this. So, um, Angela says, I made strawberry jello poke cake uh, way back. Nancy, there are many different combinations of poke cake. I didn't know that. So you're going to have me uh, researching something when I get off this live now. Because I got to check into a poke, a little poke cake. I never had one of those. Denise, I made jello poke cake, but want to try pudding poke cake. Okay. Nancy, prayers for all around the world. Yes, all around the world. We need to pray and pray hard. Pray, pray, my. Yes. Okay. This has uh, one, two, three, four, four different scriptures. They're not long. But listen, listen, listen. Sound like Lisa Carter. Lord, in the morning you hear my voice. In the morning I pray to you. I wait for you in hope. That comes from Psalms 5 and 3. Never stop praying. You hear me? Never stop praying. That's 1 Thessalonians 5 and 17. The Lord does not listen to the wicked. Have mercy, Jesus. But he hears the prayers of those who do right. That comes from Proverbs 15 and 29. 
Come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord, our maker, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, the flock under his care. That comes from Psalms 95, 6 and 7. Now for the prayer. Lord Jesus, you promised to do whatever I asked in your name. Just to speak your name invites peace and confidence into my heart. You are always helping me, even when I don't get my way. Have mercy, Jesus. To pray in your name is to pray surrender to the Father, who is always working for my good. Amen. Thank you that my ultimate joy is always before you. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody call. And the question for today is, what can you pray about right now? Have mercy. <laughs> what can you, 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 you pray about right now? It is National Prayer Day, and we have so much to pray about. And as it was said before, we need to pray for this world. We need to pray for this country. We need to pray for our sisters and our brothers, our neighbors and our friends. And most of all, most of all, to pray for our enemies. Pray for those who despitefully misuse us and abuse us. The best gift, the best comeback for when somebody misuse you and abuse you is to pray pray. It's to pray because God said, vengeance is mine and I shall repay. We don't have to pray. I mean, repay. All we got to do is pray. Oh, Lord, you hear that? We don't have to re, we don't have to repay. We don't have to get back at nobody. All we got to do is pray. Let God do the rest. He got us. He got us. And, you know, sometimes we want it to happen fast. We want it right now. Sometimes it takes years. I know I prayed on the situation. I prayed for it for 17 years. You hear me? 17 years. But when God blessed me in that prayer, he went far and beyond whatever I could even imagine. It was well worth the wait. It wasn't, I didn't think it was when I was going through it. But when God came in, he showed out. You hear me? He showed out. He let me know, this is your time. You gonna walk in your blessings, what I got for you. And those around you, those who are near you, they gonna be blessed by just knowing you. Have mercy, Lord. Won't he do it? Yes, he will. Yes, he will. And I don't mean to be screaming and hollering, but I'm happy today. For some reason, I feel it in the atmosphere that something good is about to happen. I don't know. And when it happens to one of you in this live, please let me know. Because it's not just for me. It's for you, too. So when God shows up and shows out, please send me a message and say, Beverly, Beverly, let me tell you what God did for me today. And honey, I'll be in here shouting with you. Oh, yes, I will. Uh, Angela said, I'm praying for peace in Russia. Amen. Amen. I speak, decree, and declare every day that God will uh, give Putin a change of heart and change of mind, that this war will be over with, that those people in the Ukraine will be blessed to go back to their country, to their home, that they will be able to rebuild and restore, that it will come back. And it will come back more than what they had before. And God can do it. God can do it. Look at Lot. Not Lot. Look at Job. Look at Job, what God did for Job. He lost everything, everything. And look how God restored him. If he did it for Job, 
He can do it for you and you and you and me. I know he done it for me. So what's your testimony? I know he did it for me because I had basically given up. But honey, let me tell you, when my Lord and Savior came in, he showed out. Um, Angela said, Tracy, I think I'm going to make one right now. Uh, Angela said, God is good. Yes, he's good, Angela. And all the time, God is good. Um, Angela, Tracy, such a moist cake. My grandmother would pur puree fruit and pour it on in the hole. Oh, y'all got my curiosity. Ooh, I got to have that cake. I'm going to find that recipe. Tracy Boo, Angela, that sounds good. Oh, yes. And it's different. That sounds really good. I got to try that. But I'm excited about this. I got my ice cream in the refrigerator. Ms. Mr. Jimmy, I think he still think we got a little bit of people. Well, it's like he, it's the way he likes to eat his ice cream, I guess. He likes to buy them little containers. You know like how we used to get in, in Bible school at church. They give you them little bitty containers. <laughs> containers with the ice cream and the two cookies and on the last day of vacation bible school you got a hot dog <laughs> and a bag of chips and maybe maybe a hamburger <laughs> those were the days we were so excited and that glass of kool-aid <laughs> that was some good stuff back then and i remember uh angela I don't know. Is Pets Pets products from North Carolina? Because I remember we had the Pets ice cream. And that's the ice cream we used to get. Denise said, uh, I just sent my daughter-in-law home with pork roast and cooked chicken meat and sub rolls uh, for her family. We'll have a couple of meals. What a blessing. What a blessing. See there? That sounds good. I need to be over your house, Denise. Angela said, Jimmy likes ice cream. Yeah, ice cream cups. I don't know why I couldn't think of it. He loves them. He lo and he just bought some. It may be all. He normally gets some and they're mixed, you know, the mixed flavors. Let me see what he got this time. That's what he got. He got the bluebell this time. And 12, they're all vanilla. Good. They're all vanilla. Honey, I got that little freezer so crammed you can't get another thing in it. Uh, and Jimmy will tell me. You need to start cooking some of that stuff in that freezer. You don't need to put nothing else in it. I said, just take it to the deep freezer downstairs. <laughs> just take it on downstairs. Um, Angela said, Denise, how sweet. What a good mom. She is. That's a good mom. She sounds like my mother-in-law when she was living Every time you went to, every time we went over there, we always came home with bags and bags of stuff. She always did. That. Now that's that, that's a good mommy. That's a good mommy. Uh, Angela says we still have pet ice cream. So, yes, yes, I love them. Um, Tracy Boo said, Miss Beverly, go to Pinch, go on Pinterest. You might find a recipe for poke cake. Okay, I am when I get off of here. Y'all look up next week and I'm going to have a poke cake. <laughs> I've never had it. I've never had it. And I thought I done had about all the cakes. Nancy, Angela, not sure about using a lemon pound cake mix, but I know you can use a lemon cake mix. Okay. Nancy, we finally got Bluebell ice cream here in Nevada. Yeah, yeah. Bluebell is good. Bluebell is good. Uh, hey, Raymond Santana, welcome to the live. How you doing today? 
It's good to see you too, Angela. Denise, my granddaughter and great-grandson left the hospital and have arrived home. What a blessing. What a blessing. He is gorgeous. And uh, my granddaughter had to take my great-grandson. Well, he was going to get a checkup this morning. He went to the doctor this morning because Tuesday, y'all uh, keep him, keep Blaze lifted up. He's going to be circumcised Tuesday. And he's nine months old. They never circumcised him in the hospital. And it, something was going back and forth with the doctors, miscommunication, and they just getting this done. That poor little baby. I'm glad I'm not there. I'd be having a fit. But um, my daughter, his grandmother is there, and she's a nurse, so she'll take good care of him. I know he's going to be all right. But I'm just thinking about the pain. He's nine months old. He a big boy. Raymond said, I'm doing good. Uh, Angela Raymond got here at the start of the live. Oh, he did? See, well, I was doing the um, cobbler, but I'm glad he's here. Thank you, Raymond. Angela? Denise says, my kids just do food shopping. And my... Girl, Denise, have you, have you, you know, they don't do it now, thank God. They're blessed and have a little more dollars. <laughs> but back in the day, I thought I was a grocery store. When they wanted paper towels, toilet tissue, soap, anything, you go over to Nana's and shop. Because I was thinking like, dang. <laughs> but I'm glad. I'm, I, I'm glad that the Lord blessed us to be a blessing, especially to my children. And Mr. Jimmy, when he goes, he buys most of the household stuff. He does most of the shopping. I go to the store, but I don't do it like Jimmy does. And when he buys toilet tissue, paper towels, he buys in bulks. He buys in bulks. So they know that he, he buys like this. So they can come and, and get stuff. I wouldn't even know they got it because he, Jimmy has so much. And I about run, run out of places to put it. Because in my laundry um, closet, it, you can only put so much in there. Raymond said, I'm glad to be here. I'm glad you're here with us, Raymond, on this National Prayer Day. And I am, ooh, I am just overjoyed today. I'm just overjoyed. Angela, to this day, my daughter raids my paper products. I know why they do that. But that's all right. That's all right. But I thought I was the only one that happened to. I thought I was the only one. I said, oh, my good." But one, I live, she lives right next door to me where it's, it's like a lot in between us. And then it's her house, but the lot in between us is her lot. So, but she comes and right. She don't do that anymore. She did when her kids were smaller. She did, which I understand. I understand. Denise says, my great-grandson name. Oh, I'm getting ready to mess it up. Givana? 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 I know I ain't even close, am I? Givan it's G-I-O-V-A-N-N-I. -N -N -I. And meaning God is gracious. Ooh, I like that. God is gracious. Gracious. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. Anointing. Lord, speak. Speak, Jesus. Speak. I pray for anointing on this new grandbaby that he will walk in wisdom and knowledge, that he will be a blessing to everyone he come in contact with, that he will do what you have called him to do, that others will be looking up to him, that he will have the anointing from the top of his head to the bottom of his feet. In Jesus' name, amen. Yes, Lord. Uh, Denise says, how beautiful. That is in Italian, such a pretty language. Ooh, that is beautiful, beautiful. 
Beautiful. What a blessing. Lord, God is good. Angela said, Denise, how beautiful. Oh, I read that. Um, Denise, when I struggle, I fed my first girl a lot of box mac and cheese. So when there is a food sale, I overbuy. Now that's a mother. That's a mother. That is a mother. And when and that's what I was getting ready to tell y'all about. I don't know if a food line is near you where y'all live at or not. And Kroger's does it, and I say all the grocery stores do. But in the morning time, if you're gonna shop, well, you know us seniors, we get up early and we get out early. But honey, I go to the uh, food line and it's right in the back of me. I clean up on their meats. I mean, you get, I have gotten two packs of T-bone steaks, two in the pack that cost 20 some dollars for $6. Five dollars. I got all kinds of steaks in this refrigerator and downstairs. Roast, pork loin, I mean, pork butts, everything. I mean, for a couple of dollars. I don't pay over seven dollars for anything. Um, my pork butts, I get for three and four dollars. When you go early in the morning where they mark down that that day old meat, which I don't care because it tastes the same and it cooks up. When you put it in the freezer, it's frozen. It's frozen. You don't sleep on it. And I always get a lot because like like she said, you don't know. Even though my my right now my kids are blessed and they don't need the meat that I have, but you never know. It may not be just my kids. It may be a neighbor. It may be someone that I come in contact with that needs some food. Because, like, we've had uh, a young man that comes and clean our yard for us who does the raking, and I always feed him. I make sure that he eats something and has something to drink and takes something with him. That's what I do. Nancy, blessing to your sweet grandson, Denise. Now, one of my granddaughters won't bra uh, braise beef. Ooh, I like that. I like that. Hey, Vernell, how you doing? Welcome to the live. What time is it, y'all? What did I say, 147? Yeah, I'm going to turn the light on there, peep at it. Oh yeah, she's cooking. Oh, and it smells good. It smells good. It smells good. It smells good. Nancy, hi, Vernell. Oh, I want to uh, drop another little nugget. Um, most content creators on YouTube now have the thanks button. I don't see it here on my um, live today, but afterwards, I know it. maybe it's just on my side. But I know on my, all my videos, the thanks button, it, showed, it shows up. So if y'all want to uh, help promote this channel in, in the growth stage and in me cooking, just leave a little thanks. I like that little thanks. I think it starts out at $2 and you can go on up whatever and we also have the super chat and the stickers and all that so remember that remember just drop a nugget drop a nugget um like when was it tuesday i was blessed with ten dollars so i am going to make to um tomorrow's um video that i'm i'm making is from tuesday's money and see, God is good. God is, I, even though I haven't received the monies as of yet, because you know, we don't get paid till the 21st, but I am considering that money for what I'm doing on Friday. I'm doing it like that. Vernell is speaking to Angela. Rochelle is saying, welcome for I wish y'all could smell this cobbler. They need to have a smeller. <laughs> That can go through here that you can smell that you can smell what is going on that would be so nice 
a smeller would be really, really nice. Well, Angela Nancy, that is hard to figure out. I tend to cook, I tend to cook too much food. We do too, Angela. Way too much food. And don't let Mr. Jimmy cook. I'm trying to get this situated. I seem like I'm lopsided or something. I don't know. Uh, when Jimmy cooks, I have to tell him. It's just three of us. Remember, it's just three of us. Because he cooks like his mother. And she always cooked a lot. The cobbler is good with a scoop of vanilla ice cream. Oh, honey, Nancy. Blue Bunnet is in the freezer. <laughs> Blue Bonnet is waiting on this cobbler. Blue Bonnet said it wants to be eaten with a cobbler, with a bosonberry cobbler. That's what um Blue Bun I mean Bluebell said. Yeah. And I love some ice cream, but ice cream don't like me all the time. Um, Vernell said, Miss Beverly, what is your favorite food? Ooh, you know, that's a good one. Hmm, I like so much. But I really love a good steak, prime rib. I like stuff like that. And seafood. Oh, Lord, yes. I love seafood. And I love uh, crab legs. Oh, I love crab legs, crab legs. Sunday for Mother's Day. I know I told y'all that. But I probably told you on Tuesday. We're going to Ruth Chris. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I hear the garage going up. Jimmy's back. He went to cut his sister's uh, yard. Yeah, he's back. He went, he went to cut her grass today. He told her yesterday, I'll be to cut your grass tomorrow because I don't want to get too high. Do you have a... Honey, yes. Look on top of the refrigerator. <laughs> Look on top of the refrigerator. That's it. It's Mr. Jimmy's. I don't touch that. That's Mr. Jimmy's. And downstairs, what we keep under the steps is that closet. He has made this contraption. I mean, it's not a contraption. I mean, it's good. It has about three or four levels that we have extra pots, um, little things we use in the store, I mean the store, in the, in the kitchen that we don't have room up here to store. It's downstairs. What about, he has an extra uh, pressure cooker in case that one mess up. He got a backup, still in the box downstairs. He loves that pressure cooker that well. And I think this is his third one. I believe this is his third one. You got five minutes. Thank you, Denise. Thank you. Because <laughs> I'm running my mouth. I'm running my mouth. Nancy, I saw the Bluebell ice cream yesterday at Walgreens. They had a, a flavor called Bride's Cake. Oh, I've had that. It's good. It's good. I always call it wedding cake. I guess it is Bride's Cake. I didn't buy it, but I think it's like eating white wedding It is. It's like eating a white wedding cake, and it is delicious. It is delicious. Bentley here, Jimmy. He, he peeping out the door now like, Daddy's here. I got to go outside, but nope. He likes to run off. Uh, Denise, the pork rose frozen like a rock cooked in two hours. About three pounds came out so tender. Denise, I, I do a lot of my meat like that, especially roast and pork like that. I, and ham, I bring it from, straight from the freezer and put it in the oven. This, this copper's got my stomach tore up. Oh, I wish y'all could smell it. I'll have to come and get some, huh? I sure do. I go downstairs in that, in that deep freezer and get something out in, in a minute. But I, um, Nancy said hugs for Bentley. Wait a minute. He hear Jimmy uh, moving, uh, bringing it more in the garage. Look at him. Let me get this box out of y'all's yeah, way. He watching for him. Look at him. <laughs> Bentley, you waiting on daddy. 
Are you waiting on daddy? You can't understand where he's at, can you? Yeah, he need to get up here with his boy. He's not back there. <laughs> He is a mess. At 8 o'clock at night, every night, he is parading in front of Jimmy like, um, it's time to go to bed, Daddy. It's time. We, we, we got to go to bed now. And he'll come in right in front of him, stand and look. And, and then he'll, he'll stand there until Jimmy says something. He's like, I'm not going now, Bentley. We're going to have to wait. And Bentley just stand there like, it's time to go. Don't you realize what time it is? It's time to go. <laughs> he is a mess. One minute. Thank you, Denise. Uh, let's talk about it with Anita. Welcome, sweetheart. How you doing, Anita? Bentley. Uh, he's handsome. I think he is, too. That's my baby. Renelle, okay. Steak and seafood prime. Real, my kind of girl. With a steak and and uh, find the prime rib. Yep, Angela say, hi, big boy. All 12 pounds of him. <laughs> Every time we go to the vet, Angela, when they weigh him, 12 pounds, 12 pounds, 12 pounds. I think the last time he went in February, he had a few ounces. It was 12 pounds and some ounces. I was so busy laughing when she when she told me I forgot what the ounces was. And she said, what you laughing at? I said, every time we come, Bentley, 12 pounds, 12 pounds. Time. Okay, thank you. I think I'm going to let it cook about 10 more minutes. I'm going to let y'all look at it. Ooh, ooh. I turned it wrong. What you think, Angela? Denise? Nancy? Should I give it about 10 more minutes? Because it said 35 to 45 minutes. So I think I'm going to give it 10 more minutes. Uh, time. Anita says, I'm doing well, love, thanks to you. Um, I miss my baby Max. Oh, Angela. Our Wheezy is 12 pounds. Oh, Wheezy, I like that. I like that Wheezy. Um, looks delicious and ready. Yeah, I'll be your timer. Thank you, Denise. We're going to do it 10 more minutes. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it to, four, to 45, like it says. Yeah, 10 more minutes. Oh, it smells so good and it's beautiful. Beautiful. Shut up, Beverly. <laughs> y'all know i'm happy today though you know what no i'm not speaking it i ain't speaking that nope devil is a liar i rebuke you satan in the name of jesus i am not saying those words i am blessed and highly favored and yes i am happy because god made me happy Woo, lord have mercy you know how Satan, when you're happy, and Satan want to creep in and, and try to steal your joy? He ain't doing that. Uh -uh. He ain't going to make me say words that, that are not blessed. Words. When I am blessed, I am blessed. I am more than blessed. Hey, LSP. Hey, hey, hey. I made it. You are God's masterpiece, Mom. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Thank you. Thank you for reminding me who I am. What's that nearby friend alerts and location here? Oh, that's something that popped up. And here I'm reading it. Angela speaking to LSP. Uh, Nancy Wheezy, how cute. Reminds me of the Jeffersons. Uh-huh. When uh, Mr. Jefferson called Miss Jefferson. Wheezy. Wheezy. Nancy, hi, LSP. LSP. My brother, you know, I told you 
he was given to um, one family and I was given to another family in the same city. So he always came to see, see about me. The family he was given to, he was able to go and come as he, he pleased. He had, you know, he had more freedom than I had. The family I was given to was real strict and I had to stay at home and sit on the porch all the time. Well, we were talking the other day and, and we were talking about things in our life and, how, you know, how God has brought us so far and how he has blessed us and kept us. And he was, um, the lady that raised him, her name was Lorraine. And he was, he said, you know, when we used to go down in the country, this is in North Carolina, down in the country, and uh, Lorraine's family, he said, well, mama's family is what he said. So when she would come around, said, every, said the ladies would always sit around mama. So they would sit around and listen to what mama had to say. And he said, I didn't understand that then. I didn't understand it. And said, they would always send me out of the room, tell me, you know, to get out. But, you know, is it in um, one of Tyler Perry's movies where the uh, the grandmother, the elderly grandmother, that was Cicely Tyson playing her. And um, a family, it was something like a family reunion. They were having a family reunion. Everybody was outside playing. But when Cicely... When the grandmother spoke, everybody listened, and they got around her and because they were wanting that wisdom from her. And, and that made me think about that movie, and he said, I never, he said, I couldn't understand it when I was young. He said, because people used to always say, your mama got that special gift. And he was saying, special gift? They said, yeah, your mama got that special gift that she can see things that we can't see, that she knows things we don't know. She has that special gift. Now think on that. That special gift. Isn't that something? And when he was telling me that, I remember Lorraine, she, even though she couldn't read or write, she never learned how to read or write. And the lady that raised me, Mama, Bessie Carr that raised me, she couldn't read or write. I was a child. Keeping up with my time. Okay. I was a child and used to pray, Lord, when you take one home, I pray that you take Mama first. This is a child. Because she can't take care of herself. She can't read or write. She never really left the house. I mean, she would go outside and do the garden, you know, stuff like that. She did that. And she would walk me to school and, and, and around in our little neighborhood, she would walk. But she never went any further than that. She didn't even go to church when uh, me and Daddy went to church. We would go to, Daddy and I would go to church together. Mama always stayed at home. She never went to church with us. Never did. And I couldn't understand that, but I thought maybe because she couldn't read or write. I don't know. I don't know. But I used to pray that as a child because I knew, and here I was like eight or ten years old, but yet I knew that if the Lord took daddy first, it was no way in the world mama could survive. She didn't pay no bills. She didn't buy no groceries. She didn't even buy her own clothes. Daddy bought them. She didn't go nowhere. He did it all. All she did was take care of the house, did the garden, do the preserving, I mean the canning, all that kind of stuff. That she did. But anything outside of the house, no. I don't recall her going anywhere. Like when we would go see daddy's sisters in Virginia, we would ride the bus. She never went. She never went. Let me see what y'all saying. Anita, yummy. Make yourself happy with God's permission because he woke you up this morning. Thank you. And it's okay. That's right for now. Uh, blessed and highly favored. Who's that saying hello? That was LSP. Um, 
Thanks, Nancy. Angela says, sweet. Nancy, look under life, love, and sugar.com for the recipe for the chocolate poke cake that I'm making. Let me write that down. Even though I know Miss Rochelle already has it for me. Um, life, love, and sugar. Dot com. Ooh, that smell is tearing me up. Then it's got a, then it's got a cool a few minutes. Shoot, shoot, <laughs> shoot, shoot. I'm ready to eat it. Ooh, I got the door open here, but it's still warm in here. It is, it's warm because I got the oven on. That's what it is. I have the oven on. LSP laughing at me as usual. <laughs> I know LSP. I'm always doing something. Vernell says, the wisdom is in Proverbs what they talk about. The special gift of the woman. Look it up because I can't remember what chapter it is in. It is not Proverbs 31. No, it's not Proverbs 31 woman, the virtuous woman, but it is in Proverbs. That's something else I'm going to look up afterwards. Oh, yeah. After this live. Uh, LSP, I am laughing. Okay. I know you are, Rochelle. I mean, uh, LSP, see there? I'm a granny, you know. We call out all our children by the name when you're talking to one. Come here, Nikki. Come here, Jennifer. Come here, Skylar. Come here, Mia. And and I'm talking and 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 I'm talking to Ann and calling them all their names. Uh, Nancy said I had an uncle that couldn't read or write. My dad could read and write and had to help them through life with their construction business. LSP. He he he. Uh, Denise, check up. Okay. Yes. Isn't that something? They couldn't read or write, but they were so wise. They had so much wisdom in them. It's And another thing, mama had that handkerchief. Y'all know them little handkerchief with them little curly things on the end. It's her money, she would tie it in a knot and take a safety pin and hook it to her slip. Well, she wore a slip. That's why I don't like slips today, because a slip always was hanging. I can't stand slips that hang, but mama's slip was always hanging. But anyway, <laughs> she would put it to her, her slip, but she didn't wear a bra. She would put it her to her slip, and she kept all her money there. Let's go, children. Let's see what this cobbler. Is that it? Is that it, y'all? Look at her. Can you smell it? Can you smell it? I'm going to take her out. Let me see if I can get y'all to. Okay. I'm going to take it out. Where are my pot holders? Oh, right here. There she is, a Bozenberry cobbler. There it is. Look at her. Y'all see that little corner right there? Just look at that. All that goodness. Woo -wee! I'm gonna sit it, let it sit there for a few minutes, and then I'm gonna take a bite of it, so y'all can see. We're gonna have a bite. She's sitting over there, cooling. My granny would sew a pocket on the inside of her bra to keep her, uh-huh. Mama would put it in a handkerchief and she get a safety pin and she would hook it to her slip. And that was 
all her money right there. When the egg, uh, the butter and egg man come on Saturday, she would go out there and get her little butter and eggs from the butter and egg man. And sometimes he had some vegetables, but she didn't need no vegetables because she had a garden with all her vegetables and stuff. But she would sometimes get some of those things from him to patronize him. Um, Angela said, awesome. Let's talk, Anita. Yes, my mother did the same thing, but maybe to her bra. Your mama didn't wear a bra. <laughs> and she had big ones. Let me tell you, I'm going to be truthful with you. You know how Aunt your Mama looked like on, on, on the syrup jar? That was Mama. She wore the dress with the apron like her and the kerchief on the head. And that was my mother. But my mother was the descendant of slaves from sharecropping uh, in North Carolina. When she met daddy, her family was sharecroppers and daddy's family was sharecroppers. And back doing the, um, what is it? When they didn't have no food, this, what you call it? During that time, anyway, I think it was back in the 20s or the 30s or something when they didn't have food. And they had a daughter to die from starvation. I didn't know it. They never talked about it. They never spoke it. But they had a son, David Lee. And I, I heard in distant conversation that Mr. Carr, because nobody never called Daddy by his name, his, they always said, you know, you better call grown-ups Mr. and Mrs. Because to us, nobody had a first name on grown-ups. They all had Mr. and Mrs., whoever. And so when he was doing the, the adult talking, I heard him mention about a daughter in conversation. But I had to get away because he would have killed me if he knew I was listening to adult conversation. But anyway, when as searching for my mother, because I've told this story before, looking for my biological mother. And daddy's, um, some of his records came up too. And one of the records that came up was his daughter. And it was her death certificate. And she had died from starvation. And it, it just threw me for a loop. It just, it just threw me for a loop. I, I had to quit searching for a while when I seen that. And then I said, this, as a child, they were very, very overprotective. I couldn't do things like other kids. And I used to wonder why. I mean, why can't I go out and just play? But once when I seen what had happened with their daughter, I realized as an adult what was going on. Depression. Thank you, Angela. I don't know why I couldn't think of it. Depression. Doing depression. And um, she she died from starvation. She died from starvation. Oh, Jesus. Can't, I, can't, I can't even imagine. Can't even imagine. Don't want to imagine. Don't want to imagine. Looking good. Denise said depression. Angela, oh, how horrible. Yeah. That was horrible. That was horrible. Then... We all family. We just going to talk. Then my biological mother's grandmother, Miss Frances. I call her Miss Frances. And looking for my, for my mother, I pulled up records on, on her. She had a son. I didn't know nothing about him either. Anyway, they put him in the lecture chair in the lecture chair in Richmond, Virginia. And when I read this, it said electrocuted. And I said, what? What in the world is this? And it said electrocuted. And I, kept, and I just couldn't get away from that word, electrocuted. And I had to even ask Jimmy. I said, Jimmy, does this mean he was killed? I mean, it just blew my mind. And then I kept, I mean, he was a young man. He was, he was in his 30s. If he was that, I forgot how old he was. Because I got the paper in there. I, I might have to look that up again. So I got to talk to a, a family member that was helping me search at the time because they couldn't figure out. Because our family is very, very quiet. They don't tell you nothing. They keep everything a secret. That's why I can't find my mother. 
So I mentioned this to this cousin and he told me, yes, I remember that now. Said it was hush hush in the fam. Of course it was hush hush. And said the reason he was electrocuted, he was falsely, falsely accused of looking at a Caucasian woman. He was falsely accused. And he was killed. That threw me for a loop too. Denise, how sad. Nancy breaks my heart. Yes. And see, that's why I have these. I can't. When I'm going full force looking for my mother. I run into something like that. And it just knocks me down. It knocks me down. And I have to take a break. Like I haven't been searching for my mother now probably in six months. Probably in six months. Because, I mean, it's, it's, it's our family history. It's the past. But it just, it just gets me the things I find out. I can find out everything but my mom, where my mama is. Is she dead or alive? Or I can't find out nothing. Oh, oh my goodness. This is all so horrible. Denise is to say, LSP, I knew that was what you were going to say. What our people have been through is beyond sad. It is. And LSP, it broke my heart. Even though I did not know him, I could feel it. I could actually feel it. Like when I found out about mama's daughter, I could feel that pain. I mean, I actually went through it. It just tore me up. And I said, so many things, you know, made sense when you found that out. And when you're searching it for, your, um, uh, for a loved one and you're looking into your family tree, be prepared for the things that you can find out. Be prepared. And see, I wasn't prepared. I was not prepared. I was, oh, la -dee -da -da. I thought I was just going to find my mama and everything, you know, just like that. I wasn't thinking about family history and the things you can find out that, don't tell nobody. Keep that right here in the family. Don't tell nobody. That's family secret. Don't let that go out of this house. You got to keep that to yourself. Why? Why did they do that? I just don't understand that. Why? You don't tell what goes on in this house. It stays in this house. Denise said, it would put my brakes on. Yes. Hey, Vicki, welcome to the live. And all those who have entered that I have not spoken to, welcome. I'm going to get a little bit of this cobbler because we done been on here long enough, y'all. And I done talked to y'all talk to y'all enough. Got on your last nerve. I know it. Uh, Angela said, granddaddy's baby sister died from a scaled heart. Boiling soup on the stove fell on her. They laid her out in the dining room table to die for two... Oh, my God. It scarred him for life. I know it did. Oh, Lord. Oh. Oh, Angela. And see, even though we don't know them people, we still feel the pain. We feel the pain. If, if you're decent, I mean, if, if you're a person with a heart, with a soul, you're going to feel that pain. Let me get some ice. Let me get some coffee. Bentley, you're going to get hurt, booger. You're always under my foot, baby. I don't be looking down. I guess I can bring y'all over here while I um, dish it out so you can see how it's looking. I know Mr. Jimmy gonna like this. This is because he loves blackberry cob. Let me get it over here. Now, y'all can see what I do. I was gonna get that pretty corner right there that I like, but I'm gonna leave that for Jimmy. I ain't gonna do it. Look. 
You see that smoke? Look at that. Look. Just look. Will you look at that? Look, look down in there. Look at that. Look at that gun. Mm. Cha. <laughs> oh. Oh. Let me get my ice cream. It almost makes me want to do the holy dance. Y'all just as crooked as y'all can be. <laughs> oh, it's just as crooked. Let me straighten her up. Bluebell. Bluebell. Hard as a rock. <laughs> Somebody prayed for me, had me on their mind, took the time to pray for me. Father God, I thank you. I thank you, Lord, for this beautiful dessert that I'm about to eat. I thank you, Lord, for putting it on my friend's heart to bless me with this. And Lord, I pray that it be nourishment to my body. In Jesus' name, amen. I will be ordering this. Mm. Oh my. Honey, I need to go sit in my recliner, put my feet up, put that TV. On the news, like we always looking, MSNBC. <laughs> Here you go. Mmm. Hey, Joy. Want some boysenberry? Copley? How you doing, baby girl? Oh, Lord. Sorry, my nose finally. Y'all, yearnses? And my Tennessee voice? Yes, sis. If you ever get the opportunity to try Bozenberry Cobbler, please do. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. It is so good. Nancy, you done messed me up. Mm. Oh, Lord, I just snatched the ball. <laughs> oh, Lord. I am. Honey. Mm. And it cooked. Just, you hear me crunch them? I don't know if you can hear it or not. It had a little crunch to it. Rosenberry is a cross between a European raspberry, a European blackberry, American dewberry, and loganberry. It is a large eight gram. I know you're laughing at me, SP. Gotta get more ice cream out. I hope Jimmy give me permission to use his ice cream. Nah, he don't care. Um, Vernell, I posted what is what is in a bosom bag. Oh yeah, she did. 
Nancy saying, Joy, sweet friend. Honey, I am. You got me hooked. And when we come to Nevada, I'm going to have to holler at you. And we will be coming to Nevada. We're going to New Orleans next month, and I'm going to see Atomic there. Not next month. I don't mean to talk with my mouth full. We're going to New Orleans the end of this month. I'm telling you in advance. May the 30th, about 52nd wedding anniversary. 52 years, May 30th. LSP, and she is a ding a look. <laughs> LSP. LSP. I want you to get none of my bowling bear. <laughs> LSP going to Nevada when she starts her, her state to state tour. Yes. I can't wait for her doing that. Yes, I will be to Nevada. I don't know when we're going, but we plan on going. I'm going to tell you this, and I'm, I'm through with y'all. <laughs> what is going on with contractors that you can't find nobody to do no work? And when you call them, they don't even bother to call you back. That's what got me. We have called five contractors. Five. One of them yesterday, I called for the second time. I said, now this is not making no sense. Why is nobody, at least they can say, they can call back and say, well, we're busy at the time, but I'm returning your call. And, you know, when, when I can get with you, I will. I understand that. But to ignore, because I leave a message every time. So I called this other, this company back in yesterday, and I said, this is my second time calling. I said, um... At least you can return my call to let me know that you are busy and you will get to me eventually. You know, that's just being courteous. Curtis. She called this morning. Miss Black, I am so sorry. I had I meant to call you, but I got busy and I didn't get to it. I am so sorry. And she said. Uh, she said companies, I mean, not companies, people are complaining about other contractors are not calling them back. And I'm thinking, well, you didn't call me black back. I had to call you twice to get you to call me. And uh, so she set up an appointment for me. Because if Mr. Black don't get his work done, he I won't be able to live with him. Because he getting on my last nerve about don't nobody want to come and do the work. Now, what happened back in the day, people were running. They were going from door to door telling you what they could do. Now you can't even get. And I don't want no, we don't want no shade tree. You got to have license. You got to have insurance, okay? We don't want nobody. Uh, no, 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 no. Mm-mm. Done had that. Don't want that no more. Tell me I need a plump. Thank you, Ed. Good luck. Good, not luck, because I don't believe in luck. But you know what I mean. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Here are people wanting to pay you. Here's a job, and we want a uh, patio and a uh, a patio built and a deck. And that ain't going to be $2. So you would think people be wanting to jump on it. But no, uh-uh. And they are booked. I understand that. Because a lot of people are getting work done now where they, you know, well, we've been stuck in. They're seeing things. I understand all that, but just let me know. Just let me know. Because yeah. Jimmy hitting on my nerve. <laughs> he gets up calling contractors. I said, this is, this is bad. When you call and you can't get no help. Um... Nancy said, that's going on here too. Hard to find a repairable company to do. Yeah, because I don't want, like I said, I don't want anybody. Because a young, well, our goddaughter, she has a place down the road. 
and she messed up and got one of these little shade trees to come in and do a lot of work on one of her rental properties and they messed it up they messed it up and she had to pay then after he messed up he left she can't find him cannot find him so she had to find she had to pay another company to a um a real contractor to come in and to redo what they messed up and fix what she wanted. I'm not going through that. Uh-uh. I'm not going through that. You got to have license and insurance. Then you ain't touching nothing. Angela says, sad but true. People don't want, want to do hard. They don't. What is wrong with them? They don't want to do hard work. Don't want to do. And then, well, I take it back. Jimmy had one person to talk to him, one person, and she did uh, an interview online. I'm not online, on the phone, on the phone. He had to go and do all the measurements for the patio and tell her what he, want, what he wanted for the patio. She going to give an estimate on the phone. Ain't seen nothing, ain't been out here, just going by, you know, the conversation they were having. $20,000. Girl, you can keep that. <laughs> I'll go out there and, and put down them pavers. Nah, I ain't paying no $20,000 for putting down them pavers. Oh, no. No, 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 no. That's ridiculous. They have more money for addition. Mm -hmm. it's, it's ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. Y'all pray Mr. Jimmy find a contractor. Because if he don't, I may have to set him outside. And I don't want to do that. But I can't deal with it. Because when he wants something done, he want it done now. He, he don't have no patience to wait. Oh, heck no. Uh, to the 20. That's right. And on the phone. On the phone. Going by the measurements, that now Jimmy know how to do measurements. He know how to do measurements. He know what he want. But when she came back, because we had went to uh, Lowe's, we did. He had already done the pavers. We, we know, I mean, he's going to need, what is it, two racks of those pavers. We knew what that would cost and all that. I mean, we, we had a... Uh, idea in our head what it would cost, but not no $20,000. Oh, no. Not no $20,000. Mm-mm. I'll build me a little tiny home in the backyard for $20,000 for a patio. I mean, just for a patio. Oh, no. Not no $20,000. No. Mm-mm. Well, y'all, I'm going to let you go now. I'm sorry I kept you so long. But I've enjoyed every minute of it. I've enjoyed y'all being with me today. And it's 2.23. Oh, Lord. I'm going to probably have to go to school and pick up a mod. Because Jimmy's cutting our grass now. I pray that he's through by 3 o'clock. <laughs> I don't want... I'm tearing this up, y'all. This is good. But let me speak to Korea and Claire. And then I can go sit in the... Come on. Okay, I am courageous. I am unstoppable. I am victorious. I am love. I am blessed. I am gifted. I am anointed. I am successful. I am healed. I am healthy. I am beautiful. I am whole. I am confident. I am forgiven. I am grateful. I am generous. I am strong. I am favored. I am able, I am powerful, I am fruitful, I am God's masterpiece. You are God's masterpiece because our God does not make any junk and you are all made in the image of God. I love you, but God loves you more. Everyone have a blessed and prosperous day and all the mothers have a blessed Mother's Day. You don't have to birth a baby to be a mother.
So I am saying happy Mother's Day to you. And there are fathers who are fathers and mothers. So happy Mother's Day to you. I pray that you all get to feel the love, that your children be around you, surround you. If they're not near you, to call you, that you know their presence and you will feel the love. That's what it's all about. It's just feeling the love. So show your mother some love for this Mother's Day and let her know that she is important to you. She is your queen and treat her like a queen. We went to Knoxville and came back this morning and Jimmy said, what is that big box on the porch? My daughter in Memphis had sent me my Mother's Day gift. Isn't that a blessing? Walk up and that's what that big box was sitting in the floor, was my Mother's Day gift for my daughter. And I mean, maybe that's what got me in a good mood because that put a smile on my face. It put a, a, a smile. Shout out to all the mothers. Yes, yes. Uh, thank you, Beverly, for sharing that call. But anytime, and I wish y'all were near, y'all could come on over here and, and eat with me and, and met. Before you go, though, I'm sorry I didn't show you what it was. But this is what my baby girl blessed me with. A towel warmer. You can put your um, towels, your blankets, Look how deep it is. Whatever you want to keep warm, you can put it right in there. Isn't that a blessing? I love warm towels. I said, remind me like I'm at the uh, spa or something. Yeah, me and Mr. Jimmy might have a spa day. <laughs> I can hear him now. Girl, what are you doing? <laughs> Girl, because if, if I didn't know better, I think my name is girl, much as he say, girl. <laughs> what you doing, girl? Y'all, I love y'all. <laughs> Jimmy would kill me. <laughs> girl, what you doing, girl? <laughs> Be blessed. I love y'all. Bye-bye. <laughs>